And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft II commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast up against Tritium. Tritium? Tritium? I'm sure one of those was wrong. Uh, the Blue Zerg in the Southwest. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. Fun fact for you guys. Tri means three, so uh, his name is Three Tium. Interesting. No, um, I believe that's a that's the name of an uh, elemental isotope of hydrogen, but I could be wrong. Uh, don't take that as uh, your lesson for the day. So here we are seeing a supply depot going down for me. Nothing out of the usuals yet. Overlord coming out. Should be coming out. No. No, he is going. Oh, Overlord came out already. I am just insanely slow. SCV going out to do some scouting, and will it get in time? No. Um, I cannot prevent the fast expansion. I went straight for it, and I am upset about that, so I kind of hang out there for a while. Back to 14 uh, drones for the Zerg player. He had to lose one to get that fat, that hatchery, but there we go. Uh, 15 hatch, 15 pool. Pretty standard build. It might be a little slow. I believe you're supposed to go for a 14 pool, but I am no Zerg expert. And that drone is just going to be following me. I did get one hit on it, it looks like. But Marine should be out. There it goes. And then now I'm chasing down Epic Harvester Battle. Take him out. Go! Go! And... Oh! One health! Time you regeneration! His expansion is up. No harvesters yet. Unfortunately, I can't... I don't really feel that I can uh, scout at this point. But I... Probably could. He's got... Oh, no. He's got four Zerglings out. I selected two of them because I am pro at selecting things. But I do have a... Uh, well, it is a, a block off. It is not going to be good against Banelings later on. But it is a block off for those Zerglings. Enough for my three mar Marines. I don't take any of them out. Uh, that guy survives with seven HP. Oh, man. I'm 9 HP away from killing 2 units. That is frustrating. Roach Warren going down for uh, the Zerg player. As I get my second, third, and third barracks, 3 barracks, and a factory. Tech Lab should be going down on both of those barracks. Because I want some Marauders to slow down these Zerglings. Look, oh, he's already got 23 HP. Uh, that's why it's important, especially if you're a Zerg player, to run your units back. They can regenerate their health back. Get back into full health before, really, uh, the next battle, uh, especially if you do it early game. Sp Spinecrawler's going down for uh, Tritium. I I'm, yeah, I'm not going to pronounce his name anymore. You guys are just going to make fun of me for it. He is uh, defending against, well, he's he's defending his ramp, because really I can go around here, snipe the, the expansion, no problem, stay out of range of that sp of those spine crawlers that, when they are out there. First Marauder coming out. Do we see a starport going down? No, we are going to be st staying with factories. This is strange for me. I hope you guys are ready to see something new out of me because uh, I've had trouble with Zerg in the past, so I did look up a few new strategies, and I believe I've learned quite a bit, especially since that Baneling Nest did finish. Where is it? There it is. The Baneling Nest went down for the Zerg player, uh, so we are going to be seeing get Banelings in this game, which, of course, kills that almost instantly. He is keeping four Zerglings here uh, to do some scouting. I don't know why Norval Lord can't be doing that, but he's using the Zerglings just in case. Finally seeing some drones coming down to the expansion to do some harvesting. Uh, the extractors are going up. 
there. So he's going to be going off of four gas. He's got a lot of gas already. So I assume that he's going to be going into a Muta build, possibly. Uh, I do know that it requires a lot of gas. Once again, not a Zerg expert. Marauders, Marines, all coming out. Anything coming out of the factory yet? No. But missile turrets are going up. It is that point in the game where I assume that the Zerg player is going to get Mutas. But we do do not see a spire coming up and said he went for the roach and baneling uh, build I'm not sure if that's a standard build but he is going to be researching burrow as well as centrifugal hooks roach is still uh, just uh, watching the expansion here but still there's a lot of room for me to move down here and take out this expansion, staying out of range of those spine crawlers as well as the, the roaches here. But I am still stuck on my one base. I do have uh, siege tanks coming out. Starport finally going down for me. Do I have, yes, I do have missile turrets in the back. So once again, the nine and a half minute mark is when I want those down. Even if I didn't see a spire, I always assume that the Zerg player is gonna get it against Terrans. However, I was wrong. In fact, he is going to be getting that now at the 11 minute mark. Where is that spire? There it is. So small that I always forget that uh, spire. Uh, you know, look at the size of the hatchery. Uh, that's almost done against the spire. That's halfway done. Such a small little cocoon there that I always forget that it's such an important building. Siege tanks getting sieged up on the little terrace there, I'm gonna call it. Second starport going down, reactor going down on the first starport. And am I gonna see these Zerglings? Are they gonna be making a move? No move from the Zerglings. They're sitting there talking about whatever Zerglings talk about, how they wish they could be Banelings. He did get an Overseer, so I assume he is scared of the Banshees, just like I am scared of the Mutalisks. But I am not going to be going for Banshees, am I? I do move my army out here. That I do know. I'm securing uh, the expansion here because it is way past time for me to be getting that expansion of course he does have three base now uh, but I still have the lead harvester count because he is not saturating them properly uh, look at that he's got four drones a uh, little known fact you need more than four drones to mine eight mineral patches he's got uh, wow about 15 uh, there and there, see the missile turrets coming into effect. I always put them up against Zerg because the mutas are so prevalent in uh, Zerg builds against Terran that I just automatically assume he's going for it. I don't need to scout a spire to know that mutas will be coming out. So I go for that anyways. Expansion about halfway done. Mutas uh, continuing to run around. Roach is hanging out. And Zerglings burrowed as well as Banelings burrowed. Is that something that I caught? I doubt it. I don't have any detectors out there. 